bring that element of the story for us tonight. And Marcos, we're seeing some really dramatic images come out from this incident today. It certainly are, and it was taken by a, a person by the name of Matthew Thomas, and from his vantage point, he tells me that the two that he saw uh, there being treated by authorities, uh, those injuries appear to be non-threatening. One was shot in the leg, the other in the back. Now, this is the couple who is being treated outside of the Dillard store. Thomas got there, tried to stabilize them, talking with them, holding their hands. That's when police arrived and took over, but he was able to talk with them and also had the presence of mind to record the scene once they were in good hands. He says the woman was shot in the leg, the man in the back. They were talking, they are coherent, basically. Um, were they uh, saying anything about how they got shot? So I was asking them, and I was like, did you know who shot you guys? And uh, the guy said he didn't know. Um, because he got shot in the back. Yeah, he got shot in the back. And What about the lady in the leg? Did, did you talk with her, get a chance? Yeah, yeah I talked to her. Uh, I was actually holding both of their hands, and I was telling them, it'll be okay, you guys are going to be fine. Um, basically, you know what I mean? They were more scared and nervous. And the lady, he tells me that the lady who was shot also did not see who the shooter was. Uh, but according to, uh, to Thomas, he says that they did tell him that uh, the, the individuals left the store after those shots were fired. Uh, Thomas tells me that he only heard uh, those initial shots and then uh, he, he took off with everyone else. He says it was very chaotic. Everyone yelling, gunshot, gunshot, gunshot. Now, Thomas actually left the mall, took off running with everyone, but then he did an about face went back into the mall and that's when he found the wounded I asked him why did you go back to a potentially dangerous uh, situation he tells me because if I had been injured I certainly would want someone to help me for the fashion place mall Marcus Ortiz ABC 4 News all right thank you very much Marco it's just many different elements of this story coming out and we'll continue to be following it uh, we did see police uh, again in this parking lot behind us searching some vehicles so a lot of activity still going on and searches in the air and on land after this incident happened uh,